next video. It's not going to be a very long one, but hopefully you'll enjoy it. It's a video on the carport build that we did across from me where I keep my equipment in the little equipment yard. I had that area that is a lot next to a house that I own, um, and I actually am across the street from it in my house that you've seen in a couple of the videos. Um, so I utilize that lot quite a bit to just pull in and drop trailers or to uh, leave the equipment over there. And for the longest time, right before the pandemic, I wanted to buy a garage. I wanted to buy a shop to put on that lot, to put everything inside and to keep it from getting a bunch of damage from sitting out or, you know, just the weather coming down on it. So I uh, went to buy a garage and then the pandemic happened and the price of all the materials doubled and tripled and everybody knows that story. So I went ahead and opted to get a larger carport. So the carport, um, it has a few of the upgrade options which make it with 10 feet legs instead of seven foot legs. Um, so the walls are 10 feet high and it's somewhere around 13 or 14 feet in the center. Um, and then the sides are enclosed on both sides. I could not do four sides by city code. Drives me nuts that city codes can mess with you that much, but it is what it is and I had to play by the rules. But So I did two sides to help with just keeping the wind and from blowing rain in and stuff along those lines. Um, otherwise, I went with the pitched uh, roof and that is a little bit more expensive than the curved sides, uh, but the curved sides just, in my opinion, didn't look right. So all the houses around them are the standard traditional type roof. So I wanted it to look good in the neighborhood and not upset any of the neighbors. Otherwise, that video is going to detail some of that. I'm this spring planning on putting a privacy fence around the backside where you see the uh, dump truck parked at right now. There is a farm gate that I put a cattle gate on the backside and on the front side so that it is secure, but I wanna add a privacy fence to dress it up a little bit again to help out with the neighbors. So sit back, relax, check out the show. Go down below, like and subscribe, and make sure guys in these newer videos that I'm putting out, share them to your friends because that's helping me get traction. I'm already starting to see more regular views on my videos. So I appreciate that and thanks for watching. Alright, so what you can see here is this tree is growing at a 45 degree angle and it's growing over the top of where I like to park a lot of the equipment uh, and the trailers at this time. This is before I had installed the uh, carport and was getting ready to prep the area. So I figured the first thing to go should be the tree. Um, I think it was growing at an angle because there's a concrete pad back there and it started off next to it and as it got bigger it just it started hitting up against that concrete pad so i've got the old steel chainsaw out there and um, decided to cut that down it fell pretty good it, it fell somewhat there on where the trailer was but it didn't damage the trailer at all so uh, what you're going to see is the tree falling and then i'm going to cut it up a little bit a few pictures of the process to remove it and get the surface prepped for the carport
Hey guys, if you haven't already figured it out, this channel is very new. So if you wouldn't mind, take the time to not only like and subscribe, but for this time, I'm just going to ask that you guys share this video with as many people as you can. If you share my videos, I get some more traction, get some more viewers, some more subscribers. Then uh, eventually I'll get into that YouTube algorithm. We'll start the snowball effect and we'll get this channel really going. As it stands right now, there's around 100 subscribers. You got to start somewhere, so that's not shameful at all. But I'd appreciate any help you guys can give me. Thank you very much.